Hi everybody, welcome to After the Checkered Flag here on Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. Ralph Shaheen, Jeff Emig, and Ricky Carmichael with you. Coming into the round at Houston, Ryan Villapoto had the chance of making some personal history. He has never won five races in a row. He ended up pulling that off, something you've done before in your career, Ricky. Just how tough is that? Well, it's really hard. I think for me it was always if you could get over that third win, for some reason that was always tough, then you go, and then the sixth one always seemed harder. And uh, like Ryan said in his interview after the race, he felt like against all the talent and the guys he's racing against, that that was a really tough thing to do, and he's right. The field is really, really deep and uh, he's, he's accomplished something very special. But uh, at the end of the day, we all know what is most important to him, and that's be holding the number one plate up at Las Vegas. Well, there's four more mains to go, so he couldn't catch your 12 straight, but he could win the next four, do you think, Jeff? He is definitely dominant, and what is interesting about his post-race interviews, guys, is that you, you, you kind of get a sense that from the start of this championship to where he's at now, He's uh, maturing, and you're starting to see him appreciate what he is accomplishing and also really respecting the competition, right? And you get a sense of when he was making those comments about the competition that he values uh, the achievements that he's making along with his team and, you know, all of his inside, uh, you know, crew that it really means something to him. And, and probably because he started out the championship with that 16th, I believe, at round one, the crash, and he's had to dig himself out of the hole. Now he's almost a full race ahead. So uh, I think it's a really special moment, in, you know, in his uh, career. Next stop will be the Metrodome in Minneapolis, a building they're going to end up tearing down. So it'll be our last race inside that facility and an important one for Ryan Dungey because he needs to get some momentum going and he's going back home. Well, that's right. That's going to be a good one for him. You know, he's a very emotional rider, gets amped up for the stuff like this, and uh, he's going to want to win in front of his hometown crowd. I'm excited to go back there uh, to the old Metro Dome and check it out. And uh, it's always a cold one, but nevertheless, the fans are great there. They haven't seen Supercross in a while. It's going to be fun. Well, make sure you join us. The 450s will be seen on CBS from Minneapolis to 250s on Speed. So make sure you tune in for both of those shows on Sunday. We'll be there. Hope you can join us.